Hello, friends. My name is Mac Wilson. I'm a host for The Current from Minnesota Public Radio, and this is day one of Sounds Like Home. This is the very first time that we've done anything like this, a virtual music fest entirely from that you can watch from the comfort of your home and from the comfort of the homes of all these various wonderful uh, Minnesota musicians whom we've uh, already spoken with and had perform earlier today. So this is going to be going on all weekend, May 15th through 17th, 2020. For full details and the schedule, visit thecurrent.org. Now, The Current encourages all music fans to support their local artists and the continued longevity of craft and the current extends its gratitude for being able to do this cool event to the legacy amendment arts and cultural heritage fund which will be compensating artists for their sounds like home performances it's also supported by members of minnesota public radio we just wrapped up our spring member drive thank you if you support the current there's always time to do so as well at thecurrent.org So this is going to be our final performance of the evening. So far, we've already spoken to POS, Gully Boys, Faith Boblet, Dwinelle Rowland, and Raina Del Cid. And it is my privilege to welcome Dave Simonette. Hello, Dave. Hey, Mac. How you doing, man? So this is Dave Simonette. You may know his name, his face, and his voice from projects like Trampled by Turtles and Dead Man Winter, but his new record, Red Tail, he's releasing it under his own name. So Dave Simonette is with us today. You're going to play some songs for us. I am, yeah. You want me to get started? Yeah. Why don't we just get started? We'll chat after you play a couple of tunes, but uh, tell us what you're going to play and then take it away. I'm going to start with a song off that solo record. Uh, called By the Light of the Moon. Though the light of the moon It might be enough You were gone too soon And now the game is done Looking down at the bright lights And the ones we love And the warming windows And the ghosts of There's a hole in the night sky Where the dreams crawl in And I dreamed we were running As the walls caved in And the space all around us Moved like the water And it was a good dream As dreaming goes By the light of the window By the light of the moon By the waves of the water And it's all brand new It's cold where I come from But I don't mind Cause there's not much filler Or wasted time And the songs of the night birds They remind me of you And the warming windows And the painted room By the light of the window By the light of the moon By the waves of the water And the ghosts in the room By the light of the window And by the light of the moon By the waves of the water It's all gone too soon (laughs) You can clap, Lou. It's all right. Thanks. (laughs) I have an audience of two kids here. It feels, uh, it's almost like playing a show at a club or something. Um, I'm going to move on to a brand new song, something I haven't released yet. Uh, something I've uh, barely even played yet, so we'll see how it goes. It's called The Sun, Oh Yeah. Tonight Tell them you need them 
tell them you've already seen the light Fall in the rain in another room Oh, there's nothing to it Just disappear in the silver moon But I wanna know it I wanna know it on my own In the nights I feel alone Lately I stumble And I lie awake in bed But the sun Hold me a while Hold me a while There's no time at all well, It's just silly numbers Trapped behind glass They're upon the wall But I gotta go Yeah, I always go When the going's good Oh, there's nothing to it You just disappear like you said you would But I wanna know it I wanna know it by its name A cold little poet Let your blood out every day Everywhere I turn All but the sun The separate fields Watch it grow Oh yeah Thanks kiddos All right. That Everybody is still Dave there? Simonette. Yeah, we are here. Oh, Dave Simonette good. playing live from the comfort of his home. And this is uh, the Sounds Like Home Virtual Music Festival from The Current. And so, Dave, that's a brand new song, mm. I understand. Yeah. Yeah, brand new. Spanking. Brand spanking new. <laughs> uh, it hasn't really been an easy thing for me to do in this these last couple months. I, I've talked to a few other songwriters, too, that have been kind of... I don't know, maybe it's writer's block or or what, but once once uh once it kind of got heavier out there, it's 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 been harder for me to to write anything. So, um the the little stuff that I have been doing, um I've been kind of working kind of intently on that, you know. Is there a particular time of day that you find it easier to work? Basically, I'm saying, is it easier once the kids go to bed? Is that when you're like, okay, I can actually focus on this, or does it come to you like throughout the day? Uh, I'm kind of early morning is, is early morning is the best time for me for about anything. Um, that being said, late, late at night is also a good time for me as well. So I try not to combine those two that often cause that, that makes for a tired dad at home. That's for sure. But, 
Um, I de- you know, since I've been back, when I'm on the road, I, I write late usually, like after after a show. It's kind of when I'll, I do it to kind of wind down sometimes. Um, but when I'm home, I get up, I get up pretty early and, and either get to my studio or, or uh, work here at home. And, I've, but, you know, by, by about noon, I'm kind of fried for the day as far as creation goes. So, Dave, the question that we've been asking various musicians as we've been checking in with them, not just during this festival, but over the last several months, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it's a big question right now, isn't it? It's a uh, very big question, and there's a lot that goes into it. But really, how are you doing? How are you feeling? What's at, at, a, at a general and a specific level? What's a challenge? What's a what's a joy? Sure, uh, I'm I'm doing pretty good, man. I mean, uh, as as of this, you know, this festival right now, I'm I'm healthy, and I, I kind of feel like it right now. If uh, I have that, then there's not much I can really complain about. There's a lot of uncertainty, you know. I mean, my uh, I make my living on tour, and uh, everybody I play with is the same, and a lot of the other people that have been on this on this show is the same. So there's that stress. Um, there's obviously the, the stress of of becoming unhealthy, um, but that's right now it's it's being balanced out by me being home for really the longest time uh, in my adult life, really. Um, so it 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 hasn't gotten boring for me. It's all kind of still new. I mean, I'm, I'm, I get to spend so much more time with my kids. Uh, I've been getting out fishing in the spring. I mean, which is something I haven't done for, for 15 years really with any regularity, you know? So I'm trying to focus on those parts of this experience right now. Um, it's hard to do that when you walk out, you know, if you go to the grocery store or, or something and it's kind of so many masked reminders of what's actually happening, but here in our little cocoon at home, uh, things are good, and uh, all things considered, I'm doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. Yeah, Dave. It looks like those are paintbrushes behind you. Is that your, your is that your art yeah. or is that your children's art? Uh, no, this is this is this particular piece of art is Lucy, who you'll see in a second here, uh, who made me this wonderful picture uh, with three pine trees. Um, one of them's named Greg Brown. One of them's named Bob Dylan, and one of them's named TBT and an owl up there and it's one of my prized possessions right now and uh so we decided to make that the backdrop for the show but uh, all all three of us uh we get into some trouble with watercolors that's for sure dave have you found any other unexpected hobbies or unexpected or expected or unexpected hobbies besides fishing is there anything else that you've gotten into over the last several months well i've been working on my house a lot and that's maybe not unexpected for me because i enjoy that kind of work but I've never really had such a block of time in which to perform it. You know, it's usually I squeeze it in between. I got a week at home and I try to get everything done, uh, everything in my whole life done in that week and then go back out. Um, so like I knocked a wall down <laughs> in my kitchen and uh, dealt with the consequences of that. And um, I mean, I guess the amount of stuff I've been uh, accomplishing on in one hand, I also the amount of time I've spent accomplishing nothing, which has been, um, I'm trying to celebrate that as well and not, and not let that get frustrating to me, like taking some days and just, uh, you know, this it's so rare. I feel like for any, for, I feel like for anybody that is a parent or works full time or both, especially both, um, or a touring musician, which is what I know, uh, to, to have days where there's just nothing happening is, is, it's almost scary, but it's very rare. And so I'm trying to let those occur once in a while, just so I can say that I did it, you know, I'm trying to imagine myself and I'm, I'm, I'm jealous and, uh, happy that you're able to get some time, you know, just to, to do nothing. That sounds yeah, really I'm nice. Very I don't let myself do it much. I mean, I talk a big game, man, but I don't have any, that's a hard thing for me to do is nothing. Um, but mm-hmm. I, you know, I've been, I, I, I got it. We had a couple of dogs over here too. And, uh, spent a lot of time, you know, instead of, instead of working, like I was saying before, I was having write, writing issues. So I, I decided that maybe I should not try for like a month, maybe just, maybe just escape the whole situation for a while. And instead I'll just go for a hike in the woods every morning and see what that does, you know? And, um, there's that the kind of the it's this weird freedom right now of being so unemployed uh, and and um, kind of creating each day as its own thing, you know that um, 
that I think I'll probably, there's, you know, that's one part of this I'll probably look back on a little bit fondly at some point. Well, Dave, we look forward to having you back out on the road uh, sometime in the future. And uh, at the same time, we're happy for the, uh, the wonderful time that you're able to spend in the comfort of your home. And we're happy that the new record Red Tail is out in the world as well. It's been a nice gift to have over the past several weeks and months. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Mac. So you've got uh, some more music that you've got lined up. What are you going to, what, what sort play. of rabbit are you going to pull out of your hat? <laughs> I'm going to play one more song. Uh, Lucy and Jack are going to come join me. Come on over, Jack. Um, this is a song off Red Tail called The Western Wind and the Sunrise. So Lucy, you can just kind of sing right there. It would probably be fine. No, I mean, you don't have to get any closer to it than me, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then Jack, when you come in, you can just okay. see if you can get over into the screen here. But um, you want me to let you know when it's time? Okay. <clears throat> Let's just be real casual, man. It'd be so easy. Sleepy little side streets Softer than a heartbeat Painted like a gentle Western wind Dandelion shoreline It's never been the right time Lose it in the bright lights Once again Crops are in, we're here again, in the western wind, in the sunrise. That is Dave Simonette and family playing another tune from the new Red Tail album. That was very well done. Good job to everybody involved. Thank you very much. Hey, you guys, come here and say thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you, Dave, for taking the time out of your evening now to join us for the Sounds Like Home Festival. And uh, like I said earlier, we look forward to seeing you out and about real soon. I'm looking forward to it as well, man. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Dave. And on behalf of all the folks here at The Current, hey, it's been a, a really busy day, the first day of the Sounds Like Home Festival, and you can find the full lineup at thecurrent.org. want to give a thanks to Eric Romani, Jesse Weiza, and David Saffer for making all of this happen behind the scenes and all in different places, all at the same time. I'm Mac Wilson, the Sounds Like Home Festival, signing off for the day. Thanks for tuning in to Sounds Like Home, a three-day virtual festival celebrating Minnesota music. Support for Sounds Like Home and the artists performing during the festival is made possible with the support of Minnesota's Legacy Amendments Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund.
All Sounds Like Home sessions will be archived at thecurrent.org.